Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I hope your weekend was fantastic. I know I feel a little bit better than I did last week getting out of the hospital. I feel a little stronger. I still have to rest and recuperate, but I am feeling better. So I wanted to think of something fun to do. So I thought we're going to talk about Halloween. And I'm going to be back to share with you what it is. Welcome back, everyone. This morning, I was trying to think of, actually, I should say over the last few days, what I wanted to do for Halloween for the kids and with coronavirus and everything going on. And we have decided we will not be going out trick-or-treating, but we will be trick-or-treating. And we have a fun plan. We're going to do it at our house. We're going to do some baking and some cooking. We're going to have some fun recipes. We're going to have some decorating. We're going to trick-or-treat and we're going to do some pumpkin decorating and just tons of fun. So we're not going to miss out on anything. We got the costumes. We got everything that we're going to need. And I am looking forward to it. Um, in case it's raining, we can do everything outside. Unlike trick-or-treating, you're stuck outside regardless. So I am going to get started with a few things that um, we have decided to do. I do have these pumpkin stickers. And if you don't want to, one year Mason did not want to get his hands all gooey and sticky. And he wanted his pumpkin to last a long time. So you don't have to cut it. You just put these different ones on. I have that one. Let's see what other one I got. Um, so I got the, these here to go on. I know I have some other ones I will show you. So this is really cute, and I just think pirates are fun. I so we got those to do. We also have, um, these right here are four, makes, um, four of them. You can make four different, uh, pumpkin decorative kits and you can do whatever you want with them so you can decorate up a porch a door your bedroom door inside would be fun to do if you're going to do trick-or-treating inside i think it would be a lot of fun <clears throat> still have this <clears throat> cough unfortunately but it will leave when it gets ready we also, I got these little pumpkin and I thought we can use these for playing games. We can use these for lots of different things to put candy in. There's so many things that we could use these for and I thought they were really cute. So I got a couple of those. <clears throat> we're going to do a ring toss on this pumpkin. And we have some pumpkin coins to drop down in and whoever gets the most gets a prize. Because, of course, whenever you have a party, you got to get prizes. These are some of the little prizes. They're little uh, trick-or-treat books, and they can color in them. So they'll have some of these to choose from. They will have some of these to choose from. They can color these or paint them, whatever they would like. And there are four of them in this package. I want to make sure that you can see what I'm showing you. The next one, I got some party favorites, our bracelets, and they're different colors. Orange, purple, black, and green. So those are some nice bracelets. I did pick up some washi tape. One's the polka dotted orange, and I thought they could do some type of craft with these. My daughter's really crafty, and she likes to use washi tape, so she can use that. This, I really like him. This is a little tiny bat. You can see the wings. And then down on the bottom, it says boo. So that will be our centerpiece. We are going to use that for our centerpiece. For our tray to put some treats on, I have picked up um, <clears throat> excuse me, some pumpkin, pumpkin trays. And we have 
some yummy wieners and we have all kinds of things we're gonna make some punch and all kinds of good things I have a cookbook for my daughter from when she was real little and we're gonna use that I also got these these are to see who can do them the fastest make a square whatever they have card they pick they have to make that shape of course, which would be possible. If it says one green, one red, one purple, one blue, they need to make the square out of that. So that's another fun game that we can play. <clears throat> We're also going to do um, sticker books. Um, I picked out the four, the, the colors for fall, and they got the leaves on the front of them, and they are going to be creative, and they're going to pick their favorite part of the party, make a picture, and tell a little story. If yours is young, you can do like um, the Brave Raider does and jot it down. You can jot down the story of what they tell you their picture's about. So we will put stickers in with that. And that will be a lot of fun. We also have these pumpkins if they choose to decorate. And they have all different things. And they're glittery. And there's 24 in a kit. The next thing, they can put some of the stuffing inside stuff. If they want to take it and put it in one of these bags and make this decorative. And even give it as a gift to maybe a, a neighbor that's a shut-in or someone that can't come out. We'll be able to do that. Here is some more stickers um, for our sticker book contest and our storybook. So those will be fun. There are 100 stickers in here. I did pick up some more um, bags. I do believe, let me see if I'm correct. Yeah, I think there is four of each one. So we are going to take them around to our neighbors and leave them something special. I also got some ice cubes for the drinks that we're going to drink because it's going to be so super yummy. It is it is just going to be, the kids will love it, so I don't want to give the secret away. So I picked just these up at the dollar store. We also have, um, we'll hang these up there to go around and decorate. And we'll put those up as a decoration. We're going to do a scavenger hunt in the backyard. If it's raining, we will do it in the front yard. We do have all of these things for them to find. So that will be fun and exciting to do. And those types of bags are all in here. I just kind of put bags of stuff and in these containers so they can set them out on the table and whenever they want to go look I'll hide them through the house or outside and they'll be able to go and find all those and pick all those up I thought that would be a lot of fun we are going to do a game oh we do each have one of these so that we can have nice bright lights to see outside and then I do have a game a few games that we're going to do this is count the numbers this is find the letter. If they're older, they have to find the letter and make a word. And then these are ones they can just add on when they come across the letters they want to use. And these are super, super cute. They're spiders and they're bats and they're ghosts. So they can put those on those. We have also for decorating, not these, because the ones we have are in the kitchen clean, but that'll be fun. They can also, if they would like, um, is use an eraser to mark those. So either way, this is one game that we will play. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the second game we're going to play. We're going to build the scariest ghost or most frightening pumpkin or most wickedy looking witch and they're all felt pieces and whoever wins we're going to have a little contest of course will win a prize the next thing that we have i have four prizes to give away um we have some good fun coloring halloween coloring books so i thought we would put those out and let the kids do those um i did um let them I have enough for each one of them to pick if they like. And I got a different type of book for my daughter who is older that she can do. And these are sweet and treats and stickers activity books. 
and they go in and they decorate the pictures. So I thought this was a really nice prize. It's really heavy. And I got that one, this one, this one here, and this here. This one is the one if they want to decorate a pumpkin and they're not certain how, they wet this paper and they put it on and they can make their own faces. So that is that one. And then the rest of these are the pumpkin ones. And Halloween for gifts to give away. I do have um, these prizes that I am going to hide. And they're all Halloween. And they're going to have to find, if I say um, Frankenstein or a pumpkin or a trick-or-treat sign or a black kitty cat. And they're going to have so much time. We got a timer set. We're going to do those. Um, another thing that we are going to do or they can choose from if they didn't find something they like is they can find any costume and put it on. Or if they want to change their costume, put it on. That would be fun too. So this is a kitty cat one, but we have several ones and you get them at the dollar store. So they're not expensive. Another game is called Zoo Trivia. So we'll play this game. We're also going to play Mad Libs. And it's so good for their language, arts, and building their vocabulary, finding all special nouns and verbs and adverbs. And they can just go through and look to see what they can find. What are they looking for? What does this place tell them to do? And it gives them additional letters for talent search. So they can even do a, a talent search on here. So something fun to do along with the scavenger hunt. The last thing that I am going to do is <clears throat> something that we really like to do. We have several of them. Are um, did I grab the wrong color one? Let me see. I guess I don't need I don't need those two. I do need these three. We are going to make strewing. A lot of people have asked me to please display my strewing. I'm only going to show you a few. This is Dragon's Loose Part Kit. So in here, there are tons of dragons. It spells out dragons. There's several things for them to use. I'm going to have them scattered so they can create their own. Theirs will be this size as opposed to this size. So it'll be a little bit smaller, but they're going to have a lot of fun creating it and making it. So I'm excited for which one they choose. And then I have labels that we can put on. My daughter made these. She's very talented in helping all that I need help with. So we're going to make strewing. So there's going to be the um, dinosaurs. There's going to be one for, how, uh, for Thanksgiving. And it's actually called fall loose part kit. So it's anything during the fall time, which we're in now. And there's just lots of things. And I have found different things, different places, and put little birds in, and sticks, and um, of course we have the pilgrims, and the Indians, and just several things for them to have, um, bushes and trees, here's the little Indian girl, very pretty, whoops, let me get her, work. let me focus her, there we go, very pretty, and then the little Indian, or pilgrim, pilgrim girl. Let's bring her down a little bit. There you go. And then we have bushes, and we have trees, and we have shrubs, and I mean all kinds of little birds that are outside. The little tiny birds are so sweet. And then I got some really cute... <clears throat> Excuse me. Really cute um, gourds. And we got hay, of course, and just so many things. And they can pick it. So it's theirs. I mean, they want to make it their own. They don't have to do it like I did mine. Mine are actually Mason's that I made and created so that he would have 
um, them to play with. He loves to do those. And I put books and storybooks out with them. And if you have any questions about strewing, let me know. Because I have so many great ideas that I think you would really like. So those are those two. The last one is Halloween Loose Park Kits. Really fun to do. If you see all the fun things in here, there's candy kisses. And there's pumpkins. And there's these little rings that go on their hands. And there's, <clears throat> excuse me, I have these two that are painted up like Halloween colors. And we have all kinds of little doggies in a costume. And let me see what this one is. Oh, this one is just a pot with his feet sticking out the bottom. Super cute. And I just cut up little things. I did put some different colors of the peg people in there so that the colors all matched for fall. And green. And I, of course, got some... Um, pumpkins to go inside super cute so these are just something fun that you guys can do it's even a perfect craft to do if um, you're not going out trick-or-treating and you decide and you're wondering what to do make something fun to eat it's always great and then last but not least i forgot to show you this is our cute little doorbell that little bells on it um I forgot to show you this little um, Absolute Dice Halloween. And it's really cute. And it's a game. And we like to keep it in here because then we always know where it is. And it's with our Halloween stuff. And it's something that we can play. But it's just so much fun going through and finding different things. And nothing has to be the same. And everything is just so fun and exciting. I really, really enjoy decorating and finding different things for them to do. So if you guys liked any of my ideas and aren't certain where to find them, just ask and I can try to help locate them for you. Um, a lot of things at Dollar Tree, um, Target Bend. I got some things at Walmart. So there are so many different great places you can get them. So I hope you've liked this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up. And go ahead and if you haven't subscribed, hit the, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I'm doing my next video. Thank you for being part of my week. Thank you for your prayers. Uh, I do feel better. And each one of you have been such a blessing to me. I want to leave you a scripture again today. And the scripture I want to do is found in John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Have a beautiful week.